What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. So today I'm gonna be installing some more structural bracing on the BMW E30. So let me show you what I got. Garagistic X-Brace right here. This is in red. Uh, they make this in different color options as well. I think they do it in black, they do it in blue. I think I've seen some in purple and stuff like that. But this brace is really cool. Um, came with some mounting hardware. This basically mounts up to where the power steering rack bolts in to the car. Now, as you see right here, I have my skid plate out. That's because I did a bunch of other suspension upgrades. If you have not watched my videos, click that little eye up here in the corner and uh, go check out my other videos because you should uh, check them out. But as you can see, skid plates are very important. See all that? If I didn't have a skid plate on, uh, that'd be my oil pan. So no bueno. Got this. This has some spacers. You may or may not need to use the spacer. If you do use the spacer, it's gonna go right in between the subframe just to uh, clear some aftermarket sway bars. And then this is gonna bolt up right where your lollipops go. And we're gonna use this new nice zinc coated hardware. Sweet. We're gonna jump under the car, unbolt those bolts for the power steering rack and get this stuff slapped on. I've already done a video on showing you how to do the oil pan skid plate, but I gotta throw that back on the car. So I'll do that real quick. And then I'll show you guys how to mount this up. This installation should be pretty simple. As you can see, have a power steering rack right here. This is a uh, Z3 power steering rack. And as you can see, I already took a nice chunk out of it. I actually raised my car up because I took a good chunk of roo out of that the other day uh, from a nice bump on the freeway. Didn't hit my oil pan, so that was good because I don't have the skid plate on. But we are going to hook it in where these bolts go right here. So those, uh, the red brace is going to go here. Boom, boom. We're going to take those out and it'll be... I think it's 19 millimeters on the top. These are two 17 millimeters right here. We're actually gonna take these bolts out and put the back of the brace on that on each side of the car. So I went ahead and removed the 17 millimeter bolt on this side. Now I'm gonna remove the 17 millimeter bolt and nut on this side as well. And then we will have this to where I can bolt in the new X brace. With the 17 millimeter nut removed on top, I can remove the bolt and I'm gonna replace this with the new Grogistic supplied bolt. So here's the supplied Grogistic hardware. Like I said, if you want, you can use this spacer in between if you have uh, big sway bars or something like that. I'm gonna attempt to use it without uh, using the spacer. These actually would work as uh, steering rack spacers as well. Um, if you did a uh, E36 or a Z3 steering swap, probably put these on top and they would work. As you can see, I have my skid plate installed. Um, I just went ahead and put this bolt in real quick uh, just to keep it lined up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the 17 millimeter bolts that are keeping in my lollipops. These are Grogistic treehouse mounts right here. Uh, these are kind of an M3 style. They're more of a solid Del Ren bushing and uh, they work really, really well. Um, they're really awesome and yeah, let's go ahead and take these bolts off so we can get this cross brace on. Now it's taken off these 217s. Especially with these, make sure they don't pop off. If these pop off, you kind of have to drop your uh, control arm uh, for these particular mounts. Regular lollipops, not such a big deal, but these solid mounted ones can be uh, a bit more of a pain to get back on. So now we got these bolt holes off here and here. We got those off over there. We're gonna use the extra hardware over there and mount this thing underneath the car. As you can see, the X brace is over the top of the lollipops. And now I have to line it up right here uh, with these bolts as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and smash those down a little bit so I can snug it up a little bit more and get it a little closer. And then I will work on the power steering bolts. And it does look like it's gonna work with the skid plate. I wanted to do it with the skid plate on. I know it's a bit more of a pain in the butt. I think that this, you know, having a skid plate on a lowered E30 is definitely a must. <laughs> After, you know, you could see some of the stuff I was taking out. So, yeah, okay, let's do it. I'm able to get my 17 millimeter up on top. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cinch down the lollipops right here and uh, get those tightened up. And yeah, this thing looks like it's installed. I don't know how much you guys will be able to see it, but uh, I can basically take my wrench and put it right up on here. And once I get the wrench right up on top, um, I like to just use my impact driver for a little bit. That way it just speeds up the process. And once I get that tight, then I can torque it down to the appropriate spec. 
Nice. So it's all bolted up. Now these little spacers, where these would go, is you could actually put them in between here, right here, in between the subframe and the bar. Now I didn't want to do that, however, because I want this to be as low profile as possible. As you can see, it hangs down a little bit more than my skid plate, which is actually a benefit in my opinion, because these are gonna act like freaking daggers and uh, take out some some chunks in the road if they uh, if it so feels. So that's great. Um, this thing is super solid. I really like the look of it. The red looks super cool. Um, definitely got, you know, got the nice red parts going on. It just really makes the undercarriage of this thing pop. The spacers are also for if you have like really, really massive sway bars. I have H&R sway bars on here and you know, these clear just fine without the spacers. Also have Z3 power steering rack and uh, quite a few other upgrades on the car. So pretty much as far as suspension goes on this thing, uh, I think now I pretty much have everything Pretty much have everything as far as I know if I find more suspension upgrades, we'll get them done. All right, so there it is Hope you liked that installation go ahead and like share and subscribe and we'll talk to you guys soon later wrench on oh and also driving impressions video coming up soon I have autocross tomorrow, so we're gonna rip this freaking thing around with every chassis stabilizer known to man and brand new suspension and see how it does. Yeah.